Iran's Ahmadinejad has come to New York and has had some harsh words for the U.S. even before he's taken the podium at the U.N. And we're very honored today. We've got Matt Murray, Deputy Managing Editor here at The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for joining us. First time in the studio here. And you were at a meeting with Mr. Ahmadinejad earlier today, weren't you? I was, I was. So before we get to actually what, what he said, what, what was the atmosphere like? Because he's known as a bit of a firebrand, a bit of a a bit mouthy. Yeah, uh, this is an annual event. He does this now every year. This is his mm -hmm. eighth year in the coming to the UN General Assembly, I think, in his last year since his presidential mm -hmm. term ends next year. And he has a media event and everybody comes out and they have a breakfast that's sort of a buffet and then they usher you into the room and seat you around a U-shaped table and the president comes in and you sort of have the feeling that you're being filmed for propaganda back in Iranian national television. And uh, you line up and ask different questions and he sort of uh, bats them around like, like the good retail politician that I think he is, and you, you know, it, he, he's, he bobs and weaves pretty good, I'd say. So, so it's a, a little bit of a circus, it, it, it sounds like, and yeah. a, bit, a little bit of an event. So he's had some pretty um, harsh things to say about the U.S. when it, when it comes to Israel and s potential strikes, military strikes against Iran. Can you tell us about that, what he said? Yeah, I actually thought um, today he, at least compared to when I went last year, he seemed slightly more conciliatory about the U.S. per se. Mm. He, he talked about Israel in uh, typically harsh terms. He talked about the greatness of Iranian civilization. And it's been here, I think he said, seven or 10,000 years. And, and he said, uh, and Israel's only been there about 60, 60 years. Seven, the yeah. occupiers have yeah. occupied some land 60 or 70 years. Another point, he made a pointed allusion to Saddam Hussein and mentioned the time when the whole world had been with Saddam against Iran and said, where's he now? Uh, so he was very dismissive of what he what he continually calls the Zionists and, and acted mm. as if it was made, made no difference to him what they did, although he did make it clear that he would consider an attack on Iran by Israel, uh, essentially the equivalent of a U.S. attack. Mm. And, and obvi obviously that had some reaction from the White House National Security Council um, and the co-head disgusting offensive. They underscore why America's commitment to the security in Israel must be, be unshakable. Um, yeah, that's I, a standard U.S. line though, right? I, I think so. And look, I, I should be careful in terms of what I mean conciliatory. I don't think that he's looking to make peace with the United States. I mean, clearly he gets a great political benefit back home and, and Iran is a belligerent power. But he, you know, he was offered the chance to comment on the presidential election. He declined and said, I don't think it's right to be involved in your mm -hmm. domestic affairs. And he talked about, he, he dropped hints about talks. He said things like uh, the U.S. had missed a historic chance to talk to Iran, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean chances are lost forever, that kind of thing. Oh, that, that is interesting. He also said some stuff about Syria, which, which I found um, kind of, shocking. Um, tell us about that. Well, uh, there was a moment when, um, you know, it's been widely reported, including by the Wall Street Journal, mm. that Iran is working with the Syrian government, and he insisted that that was uh, proven not true. Uh, vehemently was the word he used, mm. vehemently uh, denied. Uh, he insisted that Iran is a neutral participant, not involved. He wants peace. He said, uh, I love both sides equally. I actually asked him at that uh, whether that meant that he thought that there could be uh, a happy United Syria post Assad, mm. and he didn't answer that question at all. He kind of avoided that. I mean, that to me is just, I mean, both sides are, are, are killing each other in Syria. That, that's not good. I mean, no one really likes that I mean, a, a, at all in any way. And it's just, it, it's just odd to me that he is saying that. Now, this is all before he has got to the podium. Yes. Right. Yes. So this is just the warm up He's for the main event. Yeah, he was at another event today. He speaks Wednesday. Interestingly, also, uh, the Iranians uh, late uh, this morning and said that he was going to do another press availability on Wednesday, which I found a bit confusing. But I don't know whether there was something he was meant to say this morning and didn't. Uh, it was a little, uh, but, but he'll be back again before the cameras. So um, he, he's up, I understand, at the, the Warwick Hotel, which yeah. is just a little bit up Manhattan. And yeah. apparently, it's, is, is, am I right in saying that the security there is so tight that you couldn't get a slice of pizza through? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if I'd call it quite that tight, but I'd say you can't get your uh, off cell phone through without going through security. Mm. Um, I want to make, can I mention one of the yes, things he said? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I sh you know, I think he was careful today in, in what he was saying for the most part. Mm. Probably the most spontaneous moment he had and, and probably the most shocking one to people there was, came, came about Salman Rushdie. Mm. Uh, he was asked about... And he, he was the author of the Satanic Verses and he got fatwa, which is a death sentence on him. Correct. Right? He got fatwa uh, by, I believe, the Ayatollah 20 yes. years ago. That's faded, although there have been threats against him again mm. lately. And he was asked about that and he sort of in ge generally spoke about blasphemous words being offensive to Islam, but then he was pressed specifically, what about Rushdie? 
and he said, uh, is he in the United States? Uh, I think if he is, for his own safety, you'd better not broadcast it. That is, an, that's a, that is interesting. <laughs> that is very interesting. Well, I think he was trying to make a joke, but it certainly came across much more menacing than he intended if that was the case. 